we're here today in solidarity with all the workers in this country who don't have any health insurance, particularly undocumented immigrants in the Philippines. And my heart will not rest without Soledad for Puerto Rico. To bring back life to the people and not the Wall Street Mongols. Remember our past, 50 years of my generation that stood for freedom, justice, and peace. To the mothers of I thought they would quit smoking by now. No? Still, still smoking, corporatist, the capital and cigarettes? Of That's all we got. Yeah. And we are well. For the foreseeable and future, you know. <laughs> Keep on fighting. The world, we want they the tax the rich. All right. Poor people's campaign. And you might guess. You're very popular, actually. Know that? You are very popular on my channel. You know that? Your channel? Yeah. Good. Did, did you ever watch it? Did you ever no, see it? I don't, I don't know. Really? Do you want to give me a card? No, it's good. It's good. Okay. So you don't want to see how popular you are? Uh, <laughs> so how successful are you in the promoting socialism so far? Pretty good. A lot of people are signing up for for the cause. Che Guevara, Hammer and Sickle. Okay, well, good luck. When workers' rights are under attack, what do we do? Send that part back. What do we do? Stand up! Fight back! What do we do? Stand up! Fight back! Alright, the next speaker from the International League of Women! The Church of Corbin Duncan? This is a thing. Workers are resisting! Workers are fighting back! Who, whose hands are gonna chop off? Mine. I mean, uh, rich people. Rich, really? Months. I don't know. Like, like who? Who, 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 were, who were the first one? <laughs> Chop your head off?
Isn't it supposed to be the chains? As far as I remember, it's supposed to be the chains. Yeah, but it's your lanes, because you know how they do lane politics now, and they're like, oh, you can't speak on that, that's not your lane. Oh, like, oh I call, see. Like, a liberal type oh, stuff. Oh, I see. So we just kind of... I see. Switch it around. Nothing to lose. I remember the chains <laughs> from the old you know, communist yeah. thing. This is adapted for like internet culture and how oh, people shut down arguments and they say, oh, you can't speak on that, you're not a woman, or you can't speak on that, you're not gay, you're not trans, you're not blah, 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 blah. I see. But in reality, it affects, it affects even, all of us. Even in academia, a lot of people encourage that, a lot of teachers encourage that view where it's like, you can get one you know, bourgeois, conservative person who happens to be black and say, well, you can't speak on this because this is my thing. And it's like, well, I'm poor, and this person was poor, uh -huh. and the victim of a thing that affects the fact that they're poor, you know, uh -huh. the fact this wasn't a salient thing. This uh -huh. Is it timely, timely play on it? I see. But, but what, the, I mean... A lot of working class politics that do get derailed because of um, identity 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 politics. Uh -huh. And at the same time, you have to be aware of that, because then you can say, you know, oh yeah, and identity politics. And then there's some... Old, some then there's you want to take a picture of you? Sure. You can say, you know, let's, let's step away from identity politics, and then you have some racist guy come up like, yeah, you're right, buddy. And it's like, no, 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 yeah, not like it. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. No, it's all good. I'm saying, like, you can also be, like, working class, like, pro working class unity. Like, yeah, uh -huh. like, identity politics harm us. And then, like, some racist will be like, yeah, you're right. Like, why well, shouldn't be talking? So it's like you got to be, like, cognizant of both sides of that issue, you know? So, but, uh, I mean, workers, what's, what's Workers World Party? Uh, because, obviously, you represent some some well, sort of different... Myself. We all represent ourselves, but the thing uh -huh. is it represents, in, in a broad sense, uh -huh. um, just issues that affect working class people in general, which is largely, in an urban area like this, police brutality uh -huh. affects working people disproportionately. But when I hear working working class, working people, I mean, who would you put in that category? Mm -hmm. If let's say, who would you put in the category of a working class well, or how do you working? Identify? What do you identify as? I'm a businessman, okay. so I'm what the boss, I guess, small business. No, business I, have, I, have, I have my own business, I employ like 10 people. So what, what Am I produce? working class? What do you produce? <laughs> do you own a mean of production? Do you have any productive I import furniture from Brazil, I sell on okay, uh, so like Walmart. Yeah, petty bourgeoisie, that's fine. Petty I mean, bourgeoisie, yeah. Your work is fine. You're good. It doesn't matter. You're a good person. That's I'm fine, good. You know? <laughs> How do you think? Do you think you do you let your workers unionize? Your workers have a union? There are only 10 of us, including me. Okay. So, so what, what union? Do you let them have days off? Do they have benefits? Considering that I moved from Brooklyn uh, and I live in Queens uh, to, wait, wait, to New like Jersey. Do workers want a sick day off or a personal day? Do they get that? From me, yes. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a good boss, but hey, that's, oh, that's, that's what... I mean, I understand. They like me, I like that. But look, the, the reason the reason actually I'm good to them is because they're good to me. I mean, they chose to move yeah, with me essentially, that's you know. Yeah, but 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 that's that's the only way how it does work, no? I mean, I I play, trying to change something. I, I'm just trying to pick, you know, the workers, the workers things. We're just, we're just trying to demonstrate for May Day because May Day is a holiday that is not a holiday uh -huh. in America. So uh -huh. demonstrations like this, you might be able to have this be a holiday. But yeah. this is about May Day. We're not here to speak for anybody besides ourselves. Okay. May Day got revived as a working class holiday in 2006 by um, mostly Hispanic, which is an immigrant community that came out in, in the millions. Uh -huh. Because there was going to be this law basically criminalizing undocumented immigrants and anyone that assisted them. So it would have like made it a felony. Uh -huh. undocumented immigrants. So uh, yeah. Came out of the world for like revive May Day as a working class holiday, and that's what we're trying to like keep, you know. But but again, I, I'm I'm just trying to get the answer to the question: Who would you put in the category of working class? I mean, any person who works as a working class, I mean, or if you have to sell your labor to, to working you know, class. To, to, yeah. So if let's say I hire, I'm, I'm you know I have my own little company. So, I mean, am I working class? I work pretty hard, actually. I work overtime, I work on the weekends, it's my own You're company, like, I wanna, you know, survive, but, I mean, I don't work for anybody, I work for myself. I employ nine yeah, people. Have workers, right? I have workers, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, am I working class or, or not? 
You like Petty Bourgeois? Petty Bourgeois. Yeah. Is, is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? Like, it's, not a, it's not inherently anything. <laughs> it's just a historical fact. It's not like there's no, you know. It's not a, it's not a value judgment. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I was just trying. It's a historical fact. Okay, so. so, I'm not so. you don't work. <laughs> yeah, no, there's plenty of it's about your relationship to capital, yeah. basically. Uh -huh. If you have access to the capital, uh -huh. then you're, you, have the means, you own the means of production. And that's not necessarily, it's not a value judgment, it's not a moral judgment, it's just the way that class is. And uh -huh. Marxism Close. just says that in order for the proletariat to, to get rid of their chains, they uh -huh. have to seize the means of production. So it really just depends on what you Most do. of the people who own the means of production are like the multimillionaires, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, that's the thing also, we're not, we're not asking, you know, the world to say the same and have one guy like you have a co-op. That's not really going to change anything at all. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So if you build consciousness, this is a very anti-social society. Would you agree? It's a very capitalistic society. Would you agree? New York City is a Look, very capitalistic. I, it's not I, like I live. About the no, I'm class. saying yeah. Like it's not I consider myself working class because I'm working. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's fair it's enough. not about any individual. This is about like. Really and you don't. And capital is not a yes or no thing. It's you know it's a spectrum. The people who own a lot of capital, like J.P. Morgan Chase, uh -huh. have way more potential to affect the world than you do. Uh -huh. So you know we're not going to go to J.P. Morgan Chase and ask for money. They're not going to do that. Uh -huh. They're not going to give us money. That's not how their system works. Uh -huh. The thing is, if enough people in the country agree, and there's a critical mass that are demonstrating for things like saying, hey, you know what? You killed this man in the street. You still didn't even give a reason. You lied to us. You didn't even release tapes of the call and get routinely ignored. Uh -huh. It's not a good thing. You know, would you agree that police killings in the street, extrajudicial execution is fine? Anything extrajudicial, but definition is no good, as long as it no, is truly any, extra. Any time a cop shoots someone on the street, that's an extrajudicial murder, by, or it's an extrajudicial killing. Is that correct? Well, because there has not if, been any. If, if that's the, the case. Yeah, we gotta go. There we go. All right. Nice <laughs> you, okay, so I'm here. Say ya.